Hello and welcome to Talk Fast TV, the home of YouTube content and podcasts for the hottest new bands around. Today I'm joined with Jono, James and Jack from Gecko Club, ahead of the release of their new song, Antelope. If you like the video, give it a like, share and subscribe. Other than that, stay safe guys. Cheers. Hopefully. Easy man, how you doing? How's it going? Jono. Jono. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. How, how did you, um, how did you guys all meet originally with uh, with Jono? What's the story, backstory there? I obviously know how Jack and James met, but. Uh... Yeah, well, I don't know, me and Jack just started jamming out with music. Well, much yeah, we met, we met at a party, basically, me and Jono. And then we were the only two boys to stay over that night. There's our mate Ellie. Yeah, yeah. And there's a few girls. And then the next day, um, me and John just stayed there all day. It was a nice hot sunny day and just chilled in the garden and all that, listening to some music and kind of just became mates. And then uh this studio that we're in now is our studio. Um, it was Jono's brother, uh bro brother's studio at the time. And we'd just come in here and then Jono kind of was the one that made really made me play the bass guitar, to be honest. So I owe it all to Jono, really. Nice um, one, see, I could, you know, I played the bass in my bedroom and whatnot. Um, but Jono, like, kind of, you know, I was up for it, but, you know, I was nervous, nervous to do it. So Jono kind of just forced me, and Jono will go on the drums and put the bass in here, and then we just jam and have a few evenings of that. So, yeah, he nice got me into it, really. Sweet. Into playing with other people. And then, yeah, well, Jono's my mate and a very genius musician. So when we started the band, had to get Jono yeah, involved. Yeah. It was annoying. I never actually saw these guys play before I joined the band. <laughs> bit, <laughs> bit peak, but yeah. that's been the case yeah, with most right. of the members. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's been around three months since uh, I last caught up with you guys. Um, obviously, you've brought out the news that um, you're bringing out your new single on Friday, a music video to accompany it. Uh, what can you tell us about the new single, Antelope? I think. If this one's very different to what we've got at the moment. Um, it's a lot heavier for one. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a favourite of ours. Uh, I don't know when we were actually. Maybe last, last January. Last January. I think it was the first song that we wrote with Rolf so when Rolf joined our band. Uh, yeah. I think it was the first song we wrote with him, to be honest. Rolf joined the band. We started writing a lot of new music. It was kind of the first time we started writing songs together so um yeah all the songs from now are all new stuff of the, he was a part of the process so i mean i definitely think it's not changed our style as such but we've definitely got a new element in which is exciting um and i think and soap's gonna gonna be the first of this Sweet. new style that we're bringing out so yeah it's gonna be cool yeah i was reading uh obviously the the press fact that you guys have, have the press release um yeah, the backstory behind it is a bit, um, well, I, I kind of uh, ran away with my own imagination with it, to be honest, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I, like, like you say, in, in the press release as well, uh, you can definitely imagine it going, well, I can imagine it going down well live, for sure. And uh, so- Yeah, we have. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we, we, we played it, we played it a couple of times live, the, well, the three gigs we were lucky enough to play in 2020. Yeah, we, you know, we bought it out in all three of them. And it went down well. You know, it's just better when some when people know this uh, know the song. Yeah, for sure. um, so it'd be nice to play it live when once it's released as well. Sweet. And uh, the music video you filmed that over like a couple of days in a nice English winter. <laughs> How was that? Yeah. yeah, we actually got well lucky with the weather. It was not it was not a bad weekend. One of the first okay. of like the winter. Uh, so yeah, we just went to like a woods for two days. Yeah. Just tried to make this, yeah, a bit yeah. mental video. Typical gecko fashion, kind of sat down, created a uh, storyboard that was probably very over the top. <laughs> and then um, when it came to filming day, trying to like make actually become a reality was um, well, it comes to this difficulties, but I like to think we pulled it off. So <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good fun to film. Like we just another ex excuse to get dressed up, really. <laughs> <laughs> try some weird stuff yeah. we were quite lucky obviously Rolf used to be the uh like the band photographer um okay. before he joined so he's really good with all the 
kind of like camera and like filming stuff. So he does all the editing. And um, I mean, again, just another benefit of having him in really just kind of making ideas yeah. become a thing. So, so yeah. with, with the video, with, did you just all bounce a load of ideas off each other, like in the studio or how did that all come about? I can't remember that. Yeah, well, obviously, Jack told us obviously the story about well, what it was about, mm. um, and then, so I think from early on, or even just right in it, we kind of wanted to do something which shows the kind of experience he was going through, um, <laughs> where the whole kind of I'd say what era, era, yeah, the era. where the era <laughs> came from. random, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> we wanted to have a bit of fun with it as well, you know, like yeah. get some funny outfits, you know, um, that we were up for the weekend and just, yeah, I mean, the the plan for the video was just to kind of drink something from a pot of tea and then we all start tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's, you know, it's difficult to, to, to do that yeah. stuff on a, on a budget like we are, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we just um, had fun doing it, you know, just kind of wrote down a load of shots that we definitely wanted to get in it or uh, as close to as close to that as we could. And then yeah, we all just went that once we'd shot it, we all went down to, James is flat and just sat there for a day with it on the TV, going going through the clips and then starting to mm. put it together. Um, but yeah, in terms of the actual, yeah, I don't know where that came from. We're quite yeah. lucky that obviously <laughs> Jono is a part of a uh, like local theatre group here in Watford. Big up okay. the pump house. Pump house. Yeah, so we are uh, well before COVID, we kind of like regularly go down and watch the plays and stuff. Um, so we're quite lucky we had the uh, like the costume department. So we got to raid that and nice. kind of pick the out. Touch. but yeah. yeah i mean I, I honestly i can't tell you where that the idea of the era came from it kind of just happened and yeah, <laughs> just made sense really. yes. them, so, no yeah. it definitely works it looks, it's, it's cool man I, I'm, I'm sure you're excited to release it and share it as well um oh, yeah. with um well with like hopefully the end of like covid on the horizon is it have you guys uh, got any clearer plans for like maybe touring this year or anything like that later on in the year Holland's yeah, yeah. still definitely on the cards. Is it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're still planning to do that again this year. It's just obviously depending on whether we're well, the, able to the get dates out of, of it. it. The dates of it have changed slightly. So oh, that yeah. we're basing it around Madness Festival, uh, which is going to be in uh, early July, mm -hmm. and they have permission from the government to get it in the last weekend of August. So that's now when it's going ahead. Okay. Um, so hopefully that alone kind of increases the chance of it happening um a bit but then you know well we just got to, we just got to see what happens really but yeah it'll be end of august now and we're kind of working with uh the other band the koalas uh to start trying to get some dates kind of research uh, and stuff like that really Sweet. but for yeah Tom and holland that's definitely a possibility yeah. um by el dorado like booked in as well so hopefully hopefully doing that in the summer el dorado disconnect um, festival in cambridge yeah so, so the dates yeah. are rolling through again it's just yeah hopefully this can actually happen but yeah. so i mean like in terms of lockdown that we've just been so much more on it this year with plans like we've yeah. already planned out more releases this year than what we've managed to in the past uh, we've got more of a structure so um yeah i mean obviously covid pending it'll be interesting to see what we can do and yeah whether the plan actually Stays. Yeah, man. I, I, I spoke to quite a few bands in similar positions, and and uh, obviously this has kind of forced people to be a bit more like DIY with with a whole host of things. I, I saw you just release um, uh, a load of new like Marlborough kind of merch as well, and that looks like uh, you really got your like your teeth stuck into that one as well. Yeah, I mean, same again. It was just kind of with all that we've got planned for this year. Like every band, you you need money to do it. Um, yeah. So we're keen to get a new batch of merch out, which is quite different to what we've had. Sure. Obviously, the Marvel logo is something that is like it's recognisable. It's we think it's quite cool. So <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's cool with merch. Like every time we've done it, every batch has been a different kind of style, different kind of batch of t-shirts or jumpers. Yeah. We've done like maybe five or six, and they've all had a good response. But it's like we've now got what people like, which is quite nice. Nice, yeah, for sure. And so you, you, you touched on there, this year is going to probably be one of your most productive, like for release and music. What can I dig a bit there? What have you got maybe like an EP in, in mind or anything like that, or just more singles? Or 
Yeah, it's more we've kind of uh, we're going to try to do kind of a single every three months um, cool. or thereabouts, you know, starting with antelope uh, on Friday. Sweet. And then and then, you know, we've already we've already started working on the next release now, just the early stages of that for a few months time. And then we got, you know, during the next couple of months, we'll have to get back into the studio and record another few to kind of prep them, start getting them ready. It's just Jane saying it's just like the structure and stuff kind of, uh, you know, after a few chats and that in here, um, yeah. I'm just like proper trying to hit some dead. We've always been a bit like, you know, kind of just work on one track until it's done and now, and then, you know, just start, you know, not really looking ahead. It's kind of just from one thing at a time, whereas now we're kind of trying to do multiple things at once and, you know, get stuff happening quicker. Um, Sweet. Yeah. I mean, three months into the year, we're doing it pretty well so far. Yeah. So. Yeah, actually, like, it was eight months since like eight months ago now since by the pool came out and obviously like every band we're always eager to get stuff out but you know, as you can imagine the process is always a long one so yeah it's been it's been quite nice to have some downtime to figure stuff out this year and hopefully just kind of pre-plan things so they can just roll out themselves really so yeah it'll be interesting um i think we're planning to do what three or four releases this year maybe yeah hopefully yeah so, um, yeah we'll see how it goes sweet well boys i wish you all the luck for um friday with the with the, uh, with the release of the song um i'll be promoting it on the instagram page and that getting behind it for sure i like i like what i'm hearing and yeah all the best for the year definitely lads yeah nice. Nice. Thank thanks very much you. thanks a lot chat cheers mate sweet catch you guys later yeah, yeah and speak soon safe